The film's opening sequence depicts a weather reporter, Hyun Woo, bravely fighting against an impending storm. Despite the waves that are hitting her team over and over, she has remained resilient and is sending out news. Everybody admires her for her ability to work in any situation. She is highly renowned for this. She is also well known for her beauty. The following scene shows a young man by the name of Jun Su laboriously putting together a gift for his girlfriend. To mark their relationship's 100th day, Jun Su makes every effort to create genuinely memorable moments since he is driven by a deep desire to earn her love and ensure their future together. Jun Su decorates the space with a profusion of lovely decor, paying special attention to even the slightest details. An atmosphere of romance is created by heart-shaped balloons floating in the air, and soft light from delicate pink candles. Jun Su treats himself to a little self-care as soon as he has set up the space, so that his appearance matches the enthusiasm and work he has put into the surprise. His hair is perfectly straight, plain and simple. He will then go to see his beloved in their favorite coffee shop, looking forward to seeing her again. He instead finds her entirely unaware of her surrounding, immersed in a book. He swiftly takes a seat next to her, and breaks the news of the surprise that he has so meticulously arranged. To his amazement, his girlfriend's grin quickly turns into one of annoyance and wrath. She eventually admits that she wants to end their relationship, after a tragic set of events. At first, Jun Su brushes it off as a mere joke, unable to understand the sudden change in her attitude. But gradually he comprehends the depth of her sincerity, as she insists on her desire to end their bond without offering any explanation. Troubled, he gathers the nerve to inquire about her feelings, only to be met with a confusing response that lacks both clarity and interest. Jun Su dives into the depths of his memories, reminiscing on his two prior love experiences, after realizing that his relationship with his current girlfriend has abruptly ended. Jun Su is perplexed as to why his dating relationships never endure longer than a hundred days. Each of his girlfriends has consistently ended the relationship precisely before a hundred days. His first girlfriend broke up with him on the 97th day, citing her dislike for him and his persistent body smell, leaving him stranded at the bus station. The second girlfriend ended things on the 82nd day by surprising him with a wedding invitation while he was undergoing military training, leaving him utterly shocked. Now, his third girlfriend has also broken up with him on the 100th day. Following the split, Jun Su decides to return home and grieve his ill-fated destiny. To his dismay, his bad luck does not seem to be stopping. Once he reaches his apartment, he discovers that a fire has erupted. The police have come accompanied with firefighters, and many people in the vicinity are capturing the scene with their phones. One of Jun Su's neighbors, who witnessed the fire, confesses that it was caused by a still-burning candle. The candle ignited the window blinds, which caused flames to spread throughout the whole flat. As a consequence, Jun Su was taken by the police and escorted to the police station, due to his negligent involvement in a fire that damaged public property. Today is undoubtedly one of the worst days Jun Su has ever experienced. Jun Su pleads with the police to allow him to make a phone call to Hyun Woo. Since they were young, Hyun Woo has been a close friend to Jun Su, and their relationship is unbreakable. They know each other's true selves, owing to their tight relationship. Beyond Hyun Woo's elegance and beauty, however, is a heartless character that regularly employs harsh language, and acts violently aggressively when intoxicated. The action then cuts to Hyun Woo showing up at the police station to provide bail to secure Jun Su's release. Hyun Woo becomes extremely furious when she learns that Jun Su is being held there. People inside the police station are captivated by Hyun Woo's attractiveness, and eagerly seek out the chance to take pictures with her. After some waiting, certain formalities, and Jun Su being released from detention, they both leave the police station. Jun Su agrees to her request for a drink, after Hyun Woo confides in him about her grief. They're going to a nearby bar, where they spend their normal evening talking about the difficulties that have plagued them all day. Jun Su opens up to her about upsetting events, such as the breakup of his relationship, the house fire that destroyed it, and his time in jail. Coincidentally, Hyun Woo has also encountered problems with her boyfriend, whom she deeply loves, but cannot be with. She expresses how her heart hurts, in a voice that is laced with sadness. It is revealed that Hyun Woo's boyfriend is married to someone else and has a child. She expresses her dashed hopes, and the longing to publicly introduce him and proudly hold his hand, only for everything to crumble. In the midst of this darkness, Jun Su and Hyun Woo decide to drown their sorrows in beer until they reach a state of drunkenness. Already heavily intoxicated, Hyun Woo vents her frustrations about her relationship, while Jun Su dutifully reminds her that their current involvement is forbidden. Realizing Hyun Woo's incapacity to make it home, Jun Su finds himself obliged to carry her back. Jun Su gracefully carries her on his back, once again voicing her grievances about her love affair, all while calling her boyfriend's number on their way back home. Jun Su firmly prohibits her from contacting her boyfriend, recognizing the potential damage such a call could inflict on his marital bond. However, despite Jun Su's well-intentioned warning, the unyielding Hyun Woo persists in making the call. When her boyfriend picks up, she reveals her current position atop a guy's back, only to be met with indifference as he abruptly ends the call, leaving her feeling even more devastated. 
Consumed by anger, Jun Su releases her from his back, no longer able to tolerate her behavior. The following morning, Hyun Woo awakens in Jun Su's house, disheartened by the numerous calls she made the previous night to her boyfriend. Seeking solace, she rises and engages in a series of yoga exercises. Subsequently, Hyun Woo joins Jun Su's family for breakfast, already having established a warm relationship with them. Her presence is wholeheartedly embraced within their household. Amidst the shared meal and conversation, Jun Su's father unexpectedly suggests that Hyun Woo and Jun Su should consider dating, believing them to be highly compatible. Both Hyun Woo and Jun Su swiftly dismiss the idea, their denial stemming from a deep rooted childhood familiarity that has revealed each other's imperfections. Jun Su subsequently takes Hyun Woo back to her apartment. As soon as they arrive there, Jun Su starts cleaning and arranging her disorganized living space as she retires for a refreshing shower to be prepared to work. He takes the chance to ask her about her steadfast will to remain in a toxic and forbidden relationship. Hyun Woo eventually admits that they must end their relationship. Later, when Jun Su accompanies Hyun Woo to her office, he wonders whether she still isn't interested in him, despite his constant efforts to make her happy and protect her from harm. As they stroll side by side, Hyun Woo candidly reveals that she is exclusively drawn to two types of men in the world, the accomplished and the handsome. Unfortunately, according to her standards, Jun Su does not fit into either of these categories. Since they were children together, Hyun Woo has been the object of Jun Su's intense adoration. Despite having previously expressed his feelings, he has come to terms with the fact that she will only regard him as a dear friend. Later, in the company of her friend at a bar, Hyun Woo and Jun Su are enjoying a meal together when their friend joins them. After engaging in conversation for a while, a furious Hyun Woo admonishes Jun Su for breaking their agreement to avoid talking about love, following their respective deceptions. Nevertheless, they carry on their evening, burying their emotions deep into their drinks. Following that, when Hyun Woo enters the office, she finds a pleasant surprise awaiting her, a cup of coffee with a heartfelt note from Dong Jin, despite his marital status. Delighted, Hyun Woo swiftly captures some selfies and sends them to Dong Jin, while he remains engaged in a meeting. Later, Dong Jin gracefully approaches Hyun Woo and leaves her a note, extending an invitation to share a dinner together. Hyun Woo gladly accepts, excited to revive their romantic relationship. Jun Su gives Hyun Woo a call right after he finishes his work at the elementary school. With excitement in his voice, he invites her to join him for dinner at a pork restaurant. However, Hyun Woo swiftly declines the invitation, opting instead to have dinner with Lee. When Jun Su questions her about going out with the married man, Hyun Woo pretends that the call has been disconnected and hastily hangs up to avoid his reprimand. Little did she know that Jun Su is already aware of the truth. Jun Su decides that going to a crowded club with his friend would give him some relief from rage and envy. They talk about the unpredictable nature of women. How Hyun Woo, who had complained about relationships the night before, seemed to have changed her mind and returned to her boyfriend. A significant phone call comes into Jun Su's friend, and he must depart, leaving Jun Su alone. Inside the club, Jun Su meets a stunning woman named Hee Jin. Drawn to Jun Su's innocence, Hee Jin playfully teases him, catching his attention. She boldly gets onto Jun Su's table, gently swaying her body in a seductive manner, utterly surprising him. In the meantime, Hyun Woo is overjoyed as she spends time with Lee in his car. Their hands are intertwined, and she gently rests her head on his shoulder. They subsequently have a delectable dinner at a fancy restaurant. Hyun Woo clearly enjoys the date night, showering Lee with compliments and surprising him with a thoughtful gift, a wallet. Their joy is interrupted shortly when Lee receives a phone call from his wife, asking him to return home. Hyun Woo is disappointed that their date ended early. Lee comforts her from behind, apologizing, before leaving her to face her tragic reality. She reminisces about how they initially met, and how their relationship grew, beginning with Lee assisting her with weather reporting. In another setting, we find Hee Jin overflowing with love, passionately kissing Jun Su in the elevator, creating an intense and thrilling moment between them. Hyun Woo finds comfort by drinking the full bottle of wine available that night, until she becomes inebriated. As the night progresses, she calls Jun Su, seeking his help in picking her up. Jun Su rushes to her place after receiving her call. Hee Jin, on the other hand, continues to seduce him with her warm touches and passionate kisses, so he comes a little late. When Jun Su eventually arrives at Hyun Woo's location, he is gripped by a tremendous sense of annoyance, observing her continuously ending up dejected on every date with Lee. After carefully listening to all of Hyun Woo's complaints, he swiftly drives her back to her apartment, showing his support. The following morning, Hyun Woo expresses her gratitude to Jun Su by making sushi, as a heartfelt gesture for his assistance the previous day, when he picked her up and brought her home. Immersed in their conversation, they find themselves gazing at the scenic horizon. 
speculations begin to swirl that Hyun Woo is having an affair with a married man. Lee immediately contacts the director, concerned about the consequences for both Hyun Woo and the TV station. He promises to deal with the issue personally. As the workday comes to an end, Hyun Woo's co-workers inform her in a joke that their ratings skyrocketed, blaming it on her choice of a uniform on the show, which clearly piqued the interest of male viewers. Lee's expression instantly transforms, his rage apparent. Later, while driving in different cars, Hyun Woo expresses her concerns to Lee. Annoyed by Hyun Woo's demeanor, Lee urges her to maintain a strictly professional relationship, and he ends their secret affair. With tears welling up in her eyes, she is left feeling upset. In a different setting, the bond between Jun Su and Hee Jin appears to be growing stronger as they spend more time together. That particular evening, they enjoy dinner at a vibrant street food restaurant. Unexpectedly, a man approaches and forcibly grabs Hee Jin's hand. It soon becomes clear that he is her boyfriend. The guy pushes Jun Su aside and asks him to mind his business. Hee Jin, who has become involved in a furious dispute, informs the guy that they have already ended their relationship. Nonetheless, he asks her for a second chance, but she walks away, leaving Jun Su stunned and bewildered. He is left in shock, unsure whether Hee Jin still has affections for the other guy. In the ensuing scene, we depict Jun Su seeking refuge at his favorite beer restaurant. By chance, Hyun Woo finds herself at the same place, seeking a getaway from her issues with Lee and their deteriorating relationship. The two of them stay up all night talking, dancing, sharing tales, griping about love, and having a good time with their friends. They have known each other for a long time, and instinctively know how to lift each other's spirits at bad times. In the middle of the excitement, a surprising moment occurs when Jun Su musters the courage to ask Hyun Woo if he is her type. She does, however, confess that she has always seen him as more of a brother. Memories of their early years haunts Jun Su, and reminds him of the 18 years he's been nurturing her love, but leaves him feeling as if his efforts are in vain. Jun Su feels disappointed, therefore Hyun Woo gives him a hug to comfort him, but she says she doesn't have the same passion for him. As time passes, Jun Su, unable to cope with the reality of the situation, finds himself in a vulnerable moment, and, after a few drinks, impulsively kisses Hyun Woo passionately. Surprisingly, she reciprocates, and their friends secretly celebrate in their newfound bond. When Jun Su awakens in the morning, he recalls the passionate kiss he shared with Hyun Woo, who is still peacefully dozing next to him. While leaving the room, he covers her as a kind gesture, although still experiencing conflicted feelings. Slowly but surely, Hyun Woo starts to develop feelings for Jun Su. She publicly declares that she is his official girlfriend in front of his family during breakfast, shocking and delighting everyone in the room. Hyun Woo wonders if the kiss they had the previous evening has any significance or caused her heart to speed as the day progresses, and they make their way to work. Jun Su appears somewhat dejected, as he gently removes her hand from his arm, saying that he too didn't feel anything special during the kiss. This revelation caught Hyun Woo off guard, leaving her feeling that their relationship might now end, despite bravely following her heart to be with him. She sadly bids him farewell, explaining that she is rushing late for work. Later that day, Jun Su meets Lee at a restaurant, to talk about Lee's relationship with Hyun Woo. When Jun Su approaches the topic directly, he urges Lee to end things with Hyun Woo and move on, understanding that it is for the best. Jun Su is very concerned about Hyun Woo's well being, and is determined not to let her suffer any longer. He goes out of his way to show his worry, even kneeling before Lee. The latter, on the other hand, tells him simply that their relationship has come to an end. Later, Jun Su pays a heartfelt visit to Hyun Woo's apartment while she is elsewhere, and diligently cleans every area, trying to brighten her life. When she arrives, she is delighted to discover a beautifully cooked dinner waiting for her. In the following sequence, numerous new teachers are hired at the primary school where Jun Su teaches, including Hei Jin, a surprise addition to the employees. She had never before divulged her occupation which astonished Jun Su. Next, when they are talking, Jun Su finds that Hee Jin recently ended her relationship. Jun Su and Hee Jin get closer as they seek comfort in each other's company, and their friendship develops into a blossoming love relationship. In a different scene, Jun Su invites Hee Jin to lunch and suggests trying a dish of pig feet but her reaction shows that she does not agree with the idea. Meanwhile, Hyun Woo and Andrew spend time together, and when she suggests having pig feet for lunch, he declines, making her reminisce about the shared meal she ate with Jun Soo. Despite investing time with Hee Jin, Jun Soo can't deny the feelings he has for Hyun Woo, as she remains in his heart and thoughts. Though Hee Jin genuinely loves Jun Soo, she begins to sense that his heart is still attached to someone else. She soon understands that Jun Soo has never loved her, and that his heart belongs to Hyun Woo. Feeling annoyed and dissatisfied, she chooses to leave him. Jun Su is upset, therefore he apologizes, while Hee Jin advises him to express his feelings to Hyun Woo. Later that night, Jun Su calls Hyun Woo and asks whether she is seeing Andrew, urging her to keep away from him. Nevertheless, she hangs up and tells him to mind his own business. In the ensuing scene, we depict Hyun Woo having an enjoyable time with Andrew, snapping photographs and bowling. 
Meanwhile, Jun Su keeps phoning to inquire about the weather as an excuse, and each time she lies about her whereabouts. Jun Su, on the other hand, knows everything, since he follows her. He is dissatisfied, and confides later in his friend about his attempts. At the same time, Andrew confirms to Hyun Woo that she has another person in her heart, and she is unsure if this person is a lover or a friend, which adds to her perplexity. Jun Su resolves to meet Hyun Woo in person, since he is unable to reach her through the phone. Andrew brings her home that night, and she discovers Jun Su waiting for her. He declares his love for her, and explains that he has been keeping her safe for the past 18 years. He is frustrated with the fact that she never considered his feelings for her throughout the years. Hyun Woo firmly tells him that it is time for them to stop seeing each other. She underlines that she never demanded his affection in the first place. Jun Su is taken aback, his heart laden with awe and despair. With tears running down his cheeks, he takes a taxi back home. The following morning, Hyun Woo pays Andrew a visit before he departs. In a moment of honesty, he gives her a farewell gift, realizing that her affection for him was never as deep as he had thought. Gradually, they come to a mutual decision to redefine their relationship as friends. As Hyun Woo reflects on her feelings, she is haunted by memories of her last encounter with Jun Su. When she calls, she feels a sense of sadness as he hangs up the phone. Meanwhile, Jun Su seeks refuge from the whirlwind of emotions he is feeling by working in the school. The setting turns, as Jun Su unintentionally comes upon news articles about Hyun Woo's illicit love affair with Lee. The news travels like wildfire, and the world learns about her relationship with a married man, turning the issue into a full-fledged scandal. The discovery has left Hyun Woo broken. The weight of social censure falls on her when a co-worker confronts her, even resorting to a slap, accusing her of abusing her position by having relationships with married men. The speculation about her seems never-ending. Jun Su does not spend any time looking after Hyun Woo. He reaches out and goes to her flat. The revelation of her dating scandal has now snowballed, prompting her unexpected resignation from the television company where she works. Hyun Woo, crushed by the course of events, chooses to leave Korea and seek refuge overseas. Bittersweet nostalgia surges in as she looks at old images of herself and Jun Su from happier times. Jun Su is possessed with an unexpected resolve after learning about Hyun Woo's departure. He makes the quick decision to pursue her and return her home. He embarks on a journey, determined to be at the side of the girl he loves. While walking along the beach, and deep within her heart, Hyun Woo acknowledges to herself that she misses Jun Su and feels a gap in her life without him. Nonetheless, the scandal that shook her world has rendered her unable to intervene. On the other hand, Jun Su is also broken, his pain so intense that he can't even join his family for dinner, preoccupied by thoughts of Hyun Woo. The following morning marks Hyun Woo's departure day. Jun Su addresses his students, sharing the news of her impending afternoon flight. Spontaneous applause erupts as students urge him to chase after her, warning him that he might forever regret letting her go. Without hesitation, Jun Su dashes from the school to catch Hyun Woo just as she leaves her apartment. He stops her taxi, rides it, and embarks on a journey with her. They head to the amusement park, where Jun Su tackles his fear of heights head on by taking on a drop tower. Memories resurface of his childhood, recalling how he once asked Hyun Woo if she would dare to ride it. She playfully responded that she would only consider it if she had a boyfriend. Seizing the opportunity, Jun Su makes his move, asking her to be his girlfriend. He openly expresses his emotions once more. As the ride ascends, he voices his desire for a shared future, shouting out his love and hopes for joyous togetherness. At the top, he unreservedly declares his profound affection, met with Hyun Woo's echoing affirmation. She declares her love for Jun Su and promises to remain with him, rather than leaving for Europe. Jun Su struggles to maintain balance as the drop tower falls. He frantically reaches for Hyun Woo's hand after the ride is over. And when Jun Su is about to kiss her, the ride's lingering vertigo causes him to fall to the ground. And thus, their love story begins. Their delight in each other's company is palpable, and they clearly care about one another. A striking fact surfaces as the film comes to an end, love defies expectation, and will not follow predetermined paths. Emotions and relationships continue to be delightfully tangled and complicated despite attempts to direct or predict their fate. We discover that love survives on spontaneity via their experiences, especially those of Jun Su and Hyun Woo, and that its sincerity frequently appears when least anticipated.